Welcome to this episode of I Teach with Moodle. Today, you'll need an installation of Moodle 1.8 or above, the game module, which you can find on the moodle.org uh, website. You'll also need some glossaries, questions or quizzes, preferably with categories inside them. Ensure your editing is turned on, added activity, game, crossword, then choose a meaningful name, select the source. I like to use glossaries and all, like I said, all my glossaries have categories in them which make the selection much easier. Then select your grade, personal preferences here. Everything is saved onto the gradebook automatically. Um, then you need to obviously choose uh, the number of columns. Make sure that there are enough columns so that your longest words can fit into your crossword. And I like to have a few words, at least 10 I would say, so that the crossword is actually kind of entertaining for the students. I like to allow spaces in words, obviously if, if there are spaces in words, a space is counted as a letter. And the last option, I find that actually doesn't work on some browsers. Okay, let's play. Let's speed things up a bit because we all know how to play crossword. Um, you can see that for each word, there is a box. Uh, when you click on a word, a box appears with the number of letters at the top. Each dot represents a letter. If a letter has already been found, the dot is replaced by a letter. And underneath the dots, uh, the number of letters is actually mentioned. Space equals a dot or a letter as well. Once the student has actually finished filling in the crossword, their score should show. However, if the student gets 100%, the score doesn't show. Bit of a bug there. Okay, what happens if a student makes a mistake? Well, let's make a couple of mistakes and see what happens. You can see that the software, when this, the crossword is checked, the software will remove the letters that are not supposed to be there and give the student score. Then, giving the student the opportunity to actually correct their work. The letters are removed, the words can be filled in again. And then if the student gets 100%, again, no feedback. And all they have to do is actually end the game. So it's just a question of telling your students that if they get everything right, they won't uh, actually get um, any sort of feedback. However, the grades are saved on the gradebook, so students can always refer to those after the activity. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time.